Good morning, members. <clears throat> it is now 11 and we will promptly commence our meeting. The Standing Committee on Community Safety, Cultural Affairs and Sport. Today we are dealing with adopting our report for the 2019-2020 annual reports for the Department of Community, uh, for the Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport, as well as the various entities, which will be Heritage Western Cape, Language Commission, as well as the Cultural Commission. Um, sport is a major drive in helping people cope during this um, pandemic. I've become, I've been keeping my eyes even on Amazulu Football Club, who is coached by the well-known Western Cape and Cape Townian soccer, former soccer player, Benny McCarthy. But thank you once again, for, um, for being here, I will allow for brief introductions for the record. Over to you, members. Good morning, Chairperson. Um, Wendy Philander standing in for member Lorraine Vorta this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Chairperson. Uh, member Ayanda Barnes. Good morning, Chairperson. Ms. Kama. Thank you, Member Kama. Even though you are supporting, um, is it Kaiser Chiefs? We are welcomed and we are happy that okay. you are here. Members, um, with us as well, we have our procedural officer, Mr. Wasi Matthews, as well as our senior procedural officer, Mr. Bindaza, as well as our IT support. To those that are viewing on YouTube, welcome to members of the public. Thank you so much for attending our committee meeting today. In terms of moving forward, like I indicated, we are here to adopt the annual reports for the Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport together with the entities. Um, what I will do at this stage is just refresh again in terms of the rules of engagement in terms of the ATC of Friday, the 17th of April, 2020. Members, without any further delay, I will directly table the report for adoption of the, of the Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport. 
it will now be flighted by our procedural officer. All the documents has been circulated. I will also slightly amend the agenda to include draft documents that needs to be adopted as well, including minutes. I trust that you find that in order. We are on page number one. I trust that you've had time to peruse the document. We're on page number three. <coughs> are you able to double check um, the request for information? And if there's no edits or amendments, there's any member moving to adopt at this time? Chairperson, Killian Postman here, moving to adopt. Thank you so much. I shake in that. Thank you and welcome, Mr. Mare. I'm so glad that you are here, member. Thank you so much. That is Thank duly you. noted. Members, we will now go to our first set of documents that we need to adopt this morning. It will also be flighted. Like I indicated, it was circulated. Members, that's the first set. I trust that you remember our negotiating mandate as well as the final mandate information. Do we have anyone that is moving to adopt? I will move to adopt, Chair. Thank you, Member Marie. I'll second that, Chair. Duly noted, Member Bosman. We will then go to the draft minutes for the 24th of November. During our last engagement and time constraints, we were unable to adopt a number of minutes, hence we are doing it today. We are on page number one. Page number two. Members, are anyone moving to adopt? I will I move to adopt. adopt. I'll second Thank you, Member up. Barnes and Member Bosman. Our next set is the 27th of November. Please check your attendance. Page number two. Any member willing to <coughs> move that we, we adopt? We can hear Member Mare. They can oh. Member Mare please mute. What time can you phone me back? Member Mare. Chair, Thank I you. will move to adopt. Thank you, Member Bosman. Our final set for today is the 4th of December. Page number 
be similar to the initial one that we've adopted. And this has been circulated. Any edits, if not, or amendments, anyone moving to adopt? Member Bosman? I move to adopt, Chair. No edits or amendments. I move that we adopt. Thank you so much, members. That has brought us to the close of adopting minutes. In terms of, of pertinent work that the committee needs to undertake for this term, um, I've stated previously that the month of March is basically dedicated to the, uh, to the appropriations process, but I would request members that during this week, if you have any ideas or suggestions, I remember last year there was engagements as well as informal discussions between members regarding work that we should or could undertake, but then due to COVID, that has been brought to a standstill. We are hoping to see how we can revive some of those discussions. And if any member has any idea regarding work or visits that the committee should undertake, you are more than welcome to email myself as well as the procedural officer for further consideration. And we will then have that discussions moving forward. I trust that you all find that in order, members. In terms of other business to to do today, um, I'm not sure if, uh, I'm sure members would remember that prior to the state of the province last year, which happened for the very first time outside of the chamber in Rocklands, Mitchell's Plain, we undertook various oversight visits to the area of Mitchell's Plain. What will happen leading up to the SOPA for 2021 is that a similar process is unfolding where various committees is undertaking oversight visits to Genadendal. And the Standing Committee for Cultural Affairs and Sport, um, a program is being drafted in terms of a visit to the provincial heritage site, uh, the museum, um, um, the missionary museum in Genadendal. For those that are familiar with the area, um, the name of Dr. Bali, will probably ring a bell who has been a cornerstone within that community and a key role player within the in the community and in the museum that visit is due to take place on the 12th of february on the 12th of february that visit is due to be undertaken by the committee um, other committees will also be undertaking visits and our procedural officer will be sending out that notice. However, it will only be for permanent members. Due to the regulations, only permanent members will be allowed to partake within the standing committee and to go with on the standing committee, as well as the engagement moving forward to double check um, the history, get feedback and challenges, et cetera, from the museum, but also seeing how we are able to help members. Would you be available? Transport will be available for those that need transport, and we can then discuss where we will have lunch or brunch if need be. Member Mare? Thank you so much, Chief. I just want to bring to your attention that I should make this suggestion when we discussed with, with, the, with the chief whip the whole issue about SOPA being held in Genadendal. I said that we should not come home in a rush, but we should pay a visit to the historic buildings <coughs> and meet the community, in which includes, of course, the printing works there and whatever there is to be seen. So this will actually be a double visit. Uh, and that would be the 17th and uh, when we will be at Genadendal for the SOPA. So now I don't think it would be wise to visit the, the 12th and a week later we go to the same place again. I just thought I will bring it to your attention mm -hmm. that a visit by the whole parliament uh, 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 including the speaker 
will be made on the 17th to these historic buildings. I just thought I will bring it to your attention as well. No, thank you so much. Um, and, um, our chief, uh, we met with the chief whip as well as a number of the standing committee chairpersons. And in my, um, in my notes, member Marie, the visits that I am aware of at this time is dated the 12th as well as the, the 16th, where various committees will be undertaking visits. For example, on the 12th, I do know it is local government as well as well as the agriculture committee and then on the 16th it will be the health committee as well as i think it could be social development and education as well for the 16th uh, members any input from anyone else <coughs> Chair, can I address you? By all means, sir. I would suggest that you check with the speaker. So far, will be held at Genatendal. And mm. as you all know, so far is the 17th of February. And we will then be visiting Genatendal, meeting the community, visiting all the historical sites. If it is going to be the 12th, the 16th, and the 17th, it will be overkill, much to the jealousy being generated from other areas that we never visited, like Wuppertal, Elam, and all those places. If we have three visits to Genatendal and none to the rest, can you imagine the flair? So I am I, just saying, sir, you must be mindful of that. Mm. No, I totally hear you, sir. What I do know is that it's various committees undertaking work. Um, the 17th, in my mind, would be the SOPA. And I'm not sure if there will be actual visits, for example, where local government will be able to, uh, to go to a certain spot where local government is needed or where help is needed or for a clinic or for social development, um, etc. But in terms of the oversight committee work, um, that would be a separate. Uh, but Gillian Bosman, I see you, sir. Chair, I just wanted to chip in as well. Um, I'm just at Member Maria to remind everybody that we, we did this in Mitchell's Plain as well, where we visited a few days before SOPA, um, and we're doing the same. But Member Maria shouldn't be worried that we are going to forget the other areas because we can always go back to those areas and that's what the chair was saying that we need to send those suggestions to the chair and the procedural officer this week so that we can put <laughs> that plan. Um, I do know chair that we do have an outstanding visit that's already been planned to the Elam um, community that was supposed to happen in this month as well but due to COVID mm -hmm. it has been postponed so Elam won't get jealous member Maria because we are coming to them um, as well. And we would want to do justice to the area by being active and seeing what we are able to do. I trust members find that in order. Um, the notice will be sent out via our procedural officer for the 12th, and then we will take it from there. Transport will be available, but members would be able to indicate if they are undertaking the visit in their own transport, and they would be able to claim from the from the enabling allowance. We will then possibly via email circulate suggested um, places where we are able to then have a meal, brunch or lunch either. But that will be sent in due course. I trust you find that in order. Uh, procedural officer, did I miss anything? Good morning, Chairperson and to all the members. Uh, thank you, Chairperson, through you. Uh, members, just uh, a determination on the time. Uh, would you prefer a morning session or an afternoon session? Um, members who are taking their own, whether they're taking their own transport or WCPP transport, can just inform me maybe by the end of this week so I can get all the, the planning going. Um, and then we can also determine those members who are taking WCPP transport, what time we will leave. I think that mu the museum opens at 9 a.m. 
what we can also do is if there are any burning questions or any questions of interest that the members have um, ahead of time, um, I can always ask the department to then prepare responses to that. Um, so there's still some time for that because we can amend it as we go along. Uh, but the main thing is, do you want to do, go the morning and then also what time? And then, of course, as Chairperson mentioned earlier about the um, the meals. But that's those are also suggestions that can come at the later stage. The main thing I need now is just to know what time uh, this uh, oversight will take place. Uh, do you require an hour and a half, two hours? Uh, what it's it's completely in the committee's um, uh, domain to decide. Thank you, Chair. Members, um, I see member Barnes. Thank you, Chair. My suggestion was that we should rather undertake it in the morning. I prefer doing the mornings than in the afternoon when we have to drive back again. Thank you, Chair. Mm. Thank you so much. Are members okay with a nine o'clock? In Genadendal? To arrive in Genadendal at nine? Yo. We would really appreciate to, we would really appreciate it if you are able to make it, Member Marek. Chair, I'm a disciplined member of Parliament. Whatever this committee decide, I'll abide by <coughs> Thank you so much. The notice will then be sent out in due course for a 9 a.m. in Genadendal at the Missionary Museum, a provincial heritage site for oversight. I've already received an email from one of the members in this meeting with suggestions. So thank you so much to that member who has already forwarded suggestions via email. Um, any other member could do so before the end of the week as we move to plan ahead for the year of 2021. But members, on that note, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to our IT support. Chairperson. And our officers. Member Bosman. Chairperson, I'm not sure if we're making resolutions in this meeting, but I just wanted to flag something that I find problematic. You may go ahead. Let me hear. Um, in our resolution, um, in the minutes that we just passed for the meeting that was held on the 4th of December, the last resolution states there that the committee wanted a detailed report on the process followed to investigate the sexual harassment case referred to the department <coughs> as it was stated in the annual report. Um, it should include the processes followed, the outcomes of the investigative process, as well as the complete timeline, including who the matter was reported to. Now, I've received um, the one pager, which is basically two paragraphs um, that is not on a departmental letterhead. It doesn't say who wrote that report. It doesn't say who the presiding officers were. I don't think that response mm. is what the committee wanted, Chair. I think this response is a summary of what someone's interpretation of what happened, but this is not a report that outlines a detailed process that was followed. I don't think this is sufficient detail uh, for me to satisfy that I understand um, the process that unfolded. I think for me, I take this issue very seriously, and I think that if the department does as well, that they would really give us a, a more detailed report. And I think it should be noted that the document sent to this committee is also public documents as well. Mm. Thank you so much, um, <coughs> members. Um, if you will allow me to write to the to the HOD to the department and to clarify our stance that we wanted to be more detailed, um, I've also perused the document and I found the fact that in our committee meeting it was stated that an independent consultant uh, dealt with it, but here it was merely stated presiding officer. Um, so we really do have some questions to be asked in that regard. But I see Member Barnes. No, Chair, I'm satisfied now after your input and Member Bosman because I also wanted to highlight the, the, the way this report is given to us. It's not satisfying at all. And second to that, after reading it, I have rather more questions now than anything, but it will be unfair to address the questions to you because you are also partaking in the report as myself. So rather, if we can get a better document, because I'm not satisfied even with the content with, with what's in there. Thank you, Chair. <coughs> Duly noted. Member Bosman, thank you for raising that, as well as Member Barnes. 
um, I'll take the mandate to write back to the department and to ascertain further information in this regard, but also to relay our concerns with the initial document, if you all find that in order. Um, That's members, fine, thank on, you. Thank you so much. On that note, I trust that all our business is concluded for today, and we will then adjourn our meeting for today. But thank you. Please have a good day and the, a safe rest of the week. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, members. Bye. Bye. Bye.